hello everyone welcome back to our channel all about bi uh, this is going to be a continuation of the previous azure function basic session so this is going to be part 2 all right so i am just uh, going to take you through certain things with respect to visual studio code once you install visual studio code we will be coming up with the screen wherein we can um, start working with azure function so, but before that what we need to do is we need to set up local workspace but local workspace uh, uh, cannot be seen as such so what we need to do before that is you have to make sure you are installing azure functions extension okay so where you can go and find that extension is on the left hand side you will see the extensions bar wherein you will be seeing what are all already installed if you are not seeing any of these in your workspace you can install the corresponding um, extension okay so this is what i have current now uh, currently present now or install now so what we will be needing is we will need azure functions extension as well if we want to start working with azure function okay i'm clicking on install this will be installing me azure functions if you look here it has come in the top uh, installed section okay so um, it will take couple of seconds to install it so once you do that you will be able to start developing azure functions so you, you can come to uh, azure icon and uh, you will see something um, like create new workspace without installing azure function you will not be seeing these options i'll show you that as well now i'm just uninstalling this azure functions extension okay and then i'm going to uh, the azure blade if you see here uh, if you refresh it you will not be seeing uh, if you are still seeing that so what we can do is we can close visual studio code and then we can reopen again and then go to azure you will not be seeing those options to create or set up your local workspace so the basic uh, requirement is to install azure uh, function extension okay so if you haven't done this uh, i request you to do this so that we can start our development with workspace so workspace once you have this icon you will be able to create uh, http based azure functions okay so it will be asking you to uh, choose any of the available folders for local setup and then you can choose the language in which we want to create azure function in these are all certain basic things that we will be um, doing in portal also you can develop function in portal also right in the previous video we covered that same way you will be choosing next next by choosing the type of uh, language which is python and next to that python version and type of uh, trigger and the trigger name okay and then authorization level once you do this you will be uh, looking at the explorer there, there will be two options either you can go to the azure uh, icon and then exp expand this to look at the code that is given to you by um, visual studio code or azure by default otherwise you can make use of explorer option okay explorer is the like solution explorer that we see in visual studio uh, normally okay similar to that you will see explorer here otherwise you can come and work in the azure icon also all right so this is the um, basic function or the placeholder code if you look here it is showing that import azure dot functions could not be resolved so like this if you uh, start to use any module which is not installed you will be prompted with an warning like with a warning like this okay so uh, we need to install uh, azure functions module right so how are we going to install the corresponding uh, module in the local workspace this is with respect to local right so you can come to terminal and say pip install azure functions okay this is one way of installing the required module so once you do that the error will be gone or the warning will be gone this is one way second way as i already informed in the earlier uh, session right you have something called requirements.txt okay so whenever you are uh, compiling your code or running your function um, in local uh, it will be checking the requirements.txt um, file for the required modules and if that module is not already present it will install automatically for example i will show you now i i'll just uninstall 
Azure Functions module again. Once it is uninstalled, I am just uh, um, closing and opening the function again so that we are seeing the warning. Okay, so it is again throwing the warning. But um, when I run the code right by pressing F5, it will start looking into requirements.txt and it will automatically install the missing module. Okay, so similarly, import pandas. Pandas is also not there. So I'm, I'm just making sure um, I'm leaving pandas for now from the requirements.txt. Okay, purposefully. But Azure function, it is part of the requirements.txt. So let us see what happens while I run the function. I'm pressing F5 now. So it starts to execute. And it is collecting Azure functions and installing Azure functions. Okay. And then if you see, no mo there is an error called no module name no, module named pandas okay please check the requirements.txt file for the missing module all right so this is how you will be seeing error in azure also if you are not mentioning the corresponding module in requirements.txt file okay so what i do i go back to requirements.txt mention pandas and then i will rerun it okay so let us see not rerun I, I think I terminated I just F5 again now see here collecting pandas downloading pandas so uh, if you get to work with different modules in Azure function um, just make sure you are mentioning the corresponding module name in the requirements.txt file that's it okay otherwise you will be seeing error like module not found error all right so uh, this is one thing and uh, how do we uh, promote this function to azure or deploy to azure and then uh, run it from azure and see the logs where, where can we see the logs that and all i'm going to tell in this video all right i hope till now this is clear so the first step we did is to install azure functions extension and before this itself we have to install azure function core tools that we covered as part of last video please check that and after you uh, and after you installed uh, azure functions core tool uh, and then the corresponding um, you know, softwares right then uh, after you install visual studio code we just installed azure functions extension and after that uh, we created a local workspace and made sure we are mentioning the modules in the requirements.txt okay this is a very simple function let us try to deploy this by not having pandas again okay while deploying and all it won't throw any error okay we'll see where to see the error in azure now all right so i'm just saving it and then i will try to deploy this function uh, okay click on this deploy to function app in your subscription whatever function apps you have already created it will be listed so i'll just say function app demo It will take at least two minutes for this to get deployed to Azure. So the deployment uh, to Azure is complete now. So I am coming to <coughs> the Azure function app in which we deployed the code and then the functions. Uh, before that, I, I would like to show you the app files. App files are nothing but the related uh, help files kind of okay or support files. If you see the requirements.txt, it, it just includes Azure.functions, Azure functions. Okay. So let's go back to the function and uh, execute it and see what happens. All right, I'm trying to uh, run my function or a function app from the uh, portal, Azure portal. So I'm clicking on test or run and then I'm providing my parameter here. okay so i'm saying run once it is run you will be seeing the error here okay because we haven't included pandas in our uh, requirements file where do we see the requirements file as i already have shown you in the earlier uh, sections you can go to um, um, uh, the function app name and app files there will be a place called app files so i'm clicking on my function app going to app files 
and then you can see the uh, support files in the um, drop down okay so coming back to the function itself so we have executed our function has failed okay because of the pandas issue that we are seeing so where do we see the errors there are two options one is the monitor uh, tab of the function okay here you will be seeing most recent uh, top 20 basically the 20 most recent function invocation traces whether it's success or failure you will be seeing it so in order to see the details of it just click on the link wherein you will be seeing the actual issue like uh, no module named pandas this is the error that we saw in the um, visual studio code as well you know, right? so uh, we have to include this pandas in the requirements.txt but how can we do this we should make changes in the uh, visual studio code we have to push it again to the azure okay so that's what i'm going to do now so for now i think you are clear like after you push the code to azure if you uh, run and you get to see internal server error where to see the details is the monitor tab there is one more option called application insights here i have already connected uh, my function app to an insights resource insights resource is also as same as the monitor so i'll show you how it works you can come to application insights and then uh, you can go to the function app inside function app the application insights and then you can enable the application insights for your azure function it will be a very simple step that you can try by yourself if you have any questions you can let me know but what i have already done i will be showing you now so it's a way of visualizing your uh, execution details how many runs how many failures what are the failures all the details you will be seeing for example if i want to see uh, the in the bottom you are seeing the successful execution you will also be seeing failures from here if i click on this red arrow, red uh, bar right i will be taken to the detailed error okay if at all you are not able to see anything in the monitor uh, option of the azure function you can come and see here okay no module named pandas so uh, these are the two ways that i found uh, within azure function to look at the error or the logging information so going back to the uh, visual studio code i'm just uh, adding pandas in the requirements file and then i am going to deploy the function so the deployment is completed i am going back to the um, function app i am going to run the function again through code or test we should not see the error now but before that let's quickly verify if uh, uh, the app files are properly coming up or not okay i'm sorry for that uh, app files here permanent.txt we are seeing panda you will not be able to edit here okay because we have uh, uh, modified it using external editor right so we will not have control so i'm just going back to the function and i'm trying to uh, test it this time it should succeed all right so uh, 200 okay and then you can go to the monitor tab as well in case you want to see the uh, successful execution it will take some time to reflect okay uh, here as well as in application insight it will not be showing up immediately it will take couple of minutes at least so this is how uh, we look at the errors that are happening within functions and um, uh, the way we fix it same way just like how we modified requirements.txt right same way if you want to do any modifications to your azure function you have to do it locally and push it to azure okay so that's all for this session um, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section thanks a lot for watching keep supporting